Imagine a seven foot tall muscular monster looking humanoid of sorts, wielding a sword the length of a car, with a metal pyramid shaped helmet coming to kill you. Unfortunately, that would be a very real and scary possibility if Pyramid Head wasn't just a fictional character from the Silent Hill series. But as you know here on Life's Biggest Questions, we like to explore these crazy ideas of fictional monsters or characters becoming a part of our day to day lives, and most likely destroying the human race. So join us as we explore what if Pyramid Head was real. How's it going guys? I'm your host Jared Bronstein and welcome to another video here on LB. Q. Today we'll be talking about Pyramid Head and what his existence in the real world would mean for us. Before we do, make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon to never miss a video, and of course, give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. As always, we got some bonus content coming up after we conclude our video, but for now, let's jump right into it. So what exactly is Pyramid Head? Well, the answer to that varies depending on which version we're talking about. Although for the most part, the film version and the video game version of Pyramid Head do have a lot of similarities, they also have quite a few differences. One of those differences is height. In the game, Pyramid Head is the same height as James, the game's main character. But in the film, he seems to be about 7 feet tall. Probably one of the biggest differences between game and film is the helmet Pyramid Head wears. Although they look similar, the film's director explained, when they tried using an exact replica of the video game's helmet, the actor playing Pyramid Head wasn't very mobile. Because of this, they slightly changed the helmet for film. The film also exposes his torso, which appears to be made up of human flesh sewn together. And lastly, in the film, Pyramid Head appears to have individual fingers, whereas in the game, he appears to have a palm fused together of sorts. Something that does appear to be consistent across both the game and film series is that the helmet he wears appears to be painful for one to wear. The film's version of Pyramid Head is also known as Red Pyramid. He's 7 feet tall, has an insanely massive sword, is made up of muscle, and apparently sewn human flesh. What the hell is this thing? Who knows, really? Clearly an abomination of some kind. One thing is certain, the way this thing kills is extremely gruesome. Throughout the film, he of course can be seen trying to use his sword, if you even call it that, to stab or cut. However, later in the film, he can be seen grabbing a woman by her throat, ripping off her clothes with one hand, and then ripping off all of the skin of her body as if it were a second layer of clothing. Now, I doubt any of you guys have ever tried to physically rip your flesh off, and I certainly hope you never have to experience that, but do you understand how physically strong you must be to rip off someone's flesh from their body? I mean, I know he said this guy's jacked, but this is next level. So how could we possibly stop this thing? Interesting enough, when Pyramid Head gets shot by bullets, they seem to affect him. Which is great because maybe we could simply shoot and kill him and problem solved. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. For starters, I've been referring to Pyramid Head as a singular person or being, when in reality it's not. The film's director Christopher Gons explained, There is not one particular or exclusive manifestation of him as an entity, and also suggested that Pyramid Head was one of the executioners in the original history of the town. And with that coming from the director himself, well, it changes things for us a little bit. Based on the information as per the film's director, I think a safe assumption to make about Pyramid Head is that he's a ghost of sorts. Maybe not your classic ghost that has a see-through body or cannot be physically touched, but more so a ghost or demon of sorts that haunts people who come through its home. Considering how the entity of Pyramid Head is based on executioners who previously lived in the town, it makes sense if these entities were the ghosts of said executioners. Or maybe we could even say it's a reincarnation or a zombie version. Due to the fact that it can be physically affected by bullets, one thing is for sure, it feels pain. Now unlike a lot of the monsters or creatures we cover on this channel, it seems Pyramid Head can be stopped. Maybe shoot him a bunch? Maybe burn him? In the film, he doesn't die. He just tries to kill and, upon a failed attempt and getting shot, retreats. In the second film, Pyramid Head is actually seen as a guardian angel, protecting Sharon from the horrors of Silent Hill. So maybe they're not so bad after all. No, they still seem pretty ruthless. Now, I know we said we'll be focusing on the film's version, but we're going to be talking about the video game's version a bit as well. In the film, Pyramid Head doesn't die. However, in the video game, two Pyramid Heads commit suicide. This means there isn't just one, which is consistent with what the film's director said about there not being an exclusive version of it. In the game, Pyramid Head is a manifestation specifically stemming from James's guilt, meaning it's not just a creature or monster that is always in Silent Hill, but rather was created and manifested by James's psyche. Now, as you can see, Pyramid Head or Red Pyramid have some consistencies as well as some differences when comparing the film and video game's version. One thing is for sure, if these things were real, they'd be absolutely terrifying. Now, the good news is it seems like they're killable. How exactly we'd kill them isn't the most clear. Maybe be some trial and error, but we know it can be done. So if they were in fact real, well, it wouldn't mean the end of the human race. Instead, it would just be a very big problem we'd have to deal with and try to understand. In the video game, Silent Hill is located in Maine, which is on the east coast of the United States. In the film, Silent Hill is located in West Virginia. If these things were real, there's no telling where they could pop up. Although they would be incredibly dangerous and would certainly kill the first few people it stumbled upon, Pyramid Head would most likely be apprehended by a few gunshots, which means local police enforcement should be able to take this thing down. Possibly. Maybe not. However, upon discovery, 
I have no doubt the military would be brought in. Now again, I think the military or even SWAT could take this thing down. The issue isn't so much taking it down, but figuring out what it is, where it came from, what makes it thrive. In the film it appears to have bled. So is this thing part human? Unfortunately, there is no clear concise answer and we need to hold them captive to understand them. Similar to videos regarding dangerous SCPs, Pyramid Head or Red Pyramid would be responsible for countless casualties. Those trying to apprehend it, those trying to study it, and those who find themselves unfortunate enough to be the first to discover it would all fall victim. Now the good news here is that they wouldn't take over the world. They may be all over the world, but they wouldn't destroy the human race or make us their slaves. We'd just have to adapt and find ways to kill them quickly. We'd also need to find the root of where they came from, and if or how they reproduce. So to wrap up, if Pyramid Head were real, people would definitely die. More specifically, those who first stumbled upon them, the first responders who try to apprehend it, and those who are brave enough to try and study them. We may even come up with a specific task force specifically for taking pyramid heads down. If you see a pyramid head, please call this number immediately. Who knows how we'd handle it. One thing is for sure, if Pyramid Head were real, I'd move to a remote island because I doubt they're good swimmers. Now as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If Pyramid Head were real, how do you think we'd be able to handle them? Let me know below. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. What if the Mammon Demon was real? Demi said Mammon looks like Hellboy before he had his horns cut. Like I think the, the Mammon Demon's basically the devil, and Hellboy is basically the devil, so that would make sense. Or at least was created off the image of the devil. Madam Masters said, I'm sick, so I read that as, what if the Matt Damon was real? Oh, geez. Well, hate to break it to you, but he is. How you like them apples? Hopefully you guys got that joke. If not, well, I'm sure the comments will tell you. Modern Catholic said, Finally, a religious video where you guys actually talk about the subject objectively instead of being passive aggressive by making sarcastic comments slash major assumptions. I'll be very honest with you guys. When it comes to anything religious or political, I try to be as unbiased as possible. I try to talk about both sides and I try to not give my personal opinion unless I say, personally, if you want my opinion, but otherwise I try to be as unbiased as possible. So I apologize if you felt that way of any of the videos that I have done. I appreciate that you felt that that one was unbiased. And moving forward, hopefully you feel that the rest of my videos are unbiased. On that note, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Let us know in the comments down below how you guys think we'd handle Pyramid Head if you were in fact real. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys have been watching Life's Biggest Questions. Make sure to subscribe, click that bell icon to never miss a video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.